Valium um, for tablets for a thousand, nine pound. Nine pound? Roche Valium, 10 milligram. <laughs> did speak off camera about what we touched on uh -huh. everyone kind of knows you for the story of the how many years is it uh, uh for four and a half in spain yeah. in spain for, yeah. it's the biggest haul of steroids Seizure, yeah of uh Seizure. pharmaceutical drugs pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical. so well, with pharma, what does that mean when you say pharmaceutical yes what, what that means is like spain works like this um there you either have class a class yeah. b Class okay. C does not exist. Ah, right, right, okay. Okay, class A is, right, class B is puff, marijuana, weed, cannabis. Yeah. Class A is everything else, cocaine, crack, heroin, and pills. Really? They're class A, ease, everything class A, everything A's. pill, yeah, because they say it contains a drug what can get you that high, and if you intend to sell that drug, it's class A. Yeah. So, class C does not exist and I didn't know this at the time mm. I was just going by um, by English laws two and a half year maximum for <laughs> class C yeah and I thought okay I'm gonna bring half a million pills back yeah you think you're winning <laughs> and I did that and I did that I did that uh, but then a couple of seizures I load I lost here at, at the airport uh, through flights what were late transferred my baggage was gonna come later then it gets x-rayed blah 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 is that how you then i don't it? take the risk to go pick it up then so why was you bringing it when you said you was bringing suitcases. it over in suitcases suitcases yeah mules so all oh right so you mules, got people yeah to bring yeah it. yeah so was it different then back then uh pre 9 11 it was free and easy the airport ah free and right easy. you could do what you wanted you you know yourself you could take on bottles of l liquid we used to fill that with uh GHB. Ah, right, yeah. You could, you, you know, just you know, get high. Just get, you could take it on your drink. You yeah, they make you pour on. it away and put you flipping could do Vaseline you want, you in little plastic bags. Yeah. Though, don't they? But after that, uh, they just went security, went tight, and they started to check every baggage. But back then, from Pakistan in the 90s, it was very easy. Really? On their side, Karachi Airport, it was easy to buy them off. Uh, the chief narcotics officer there, his wages then at the time, I asked him, he told me they were about 300 pound a month. That's all they were. And, but I was giving him a hundred pound a suitcase mm. every time I went through, which is nothing to me, a hundred pound suitcase. I would have given a grand a suitcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. asked for it, right? Before but you know, that's for a hundred quid, which was, I was like shot by it. Shot. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so it was pre 9 yeah. 11, so, that, so that's 9 yeah. 11 that got security yeah. ramped right up. Yes. And actually, two planes have been taken. Yeah. That's mad. So, with the mules, with mm. the, when you, how much was you paying them? And how, what, a like, thousand pound a trip. A thousand uh, pound and a trip. I'll pay the flights and expenses and the food and everything else. I will pay for, the, for everything yeah. for them and give them a grand at the end. That's not bad for them, yeah. But um, a lot of them are thinking, K Karachi, I ain't been abroad before. Has it got a beach? And it does have a beach, but have yeah. you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> Frozen have you seen it? Why is it a bad beach? Why oh, is it a bad beach? <laughs> Some bathing is not allowed, isn't it? Okay. Karachi, obviously. Yeah. Taliban are there. Fucking hell. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't you strip off on the beach with the Taliban around you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? You can't do that shit. No, 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 you can't. So beaches were there but i had to give him a story yeah it's nice it's hot it's town karachi bouncing yeah, yeah. But it's not <laughs> you know it's not no it's just there for the money yeah it's just there to do the fucking job and uh, but we had to get a weak flight otherwise it looks sus just getting like a three-day flight a four-day flight because obviously that's drugs if you're just going from england to pakistan all the way there it's a big for, flight in it for three days and coming back again yeah regular yeah, this is going to be a as fuck. So that's why mm. I did do a week, but really it should be longer than a week to make it look. Make it look a bit Look more good, legit. yeah. But I was doing a week, week, week. Uh, Interpol were on the case. They trapped the flights. Uh, they knew what I was doing. The chief narcotics officer was cool. I just used to walk through airport security. It, w it was amazing. Everyone was there to where you go in your bags. He just go, no, bypass them. Yeah. And I would walk through, and so did my mules. Wow. <laughs> and they so would just walk had through. everyone yeah, paid. Yeah, yeah. That was like an amazing level. 
course it never was. can happen. It didn't cost you that much either considering what you was paying him. Never can, yeah. It's crazy. Nothing, really? That. Only hundred pound a case. Hundred pound a case, that's crazy. <coughs> You've got the whole airport on the first security I paid off with uh, mags. Crazy. Men's magazines, because you can't... Magazines? Men's magazines, porn, porn magazines, girls... Oh, you magazines. can't get that over there? You can't get it over there, bro. Saudi Arabia, that is like gold. It's a Muslim country. It's worth more, it's worth more than weight in gold over there. Wow. Fucking <laughs> <You know>, hell, magazines. <laughs> Razzle mags, top shelf. <laughs> Couple of quid. Yeah, yeah. Wow. From Newcastle Airport, I just take them there. So, when you was getting it over there, how, what, how much was you bringing at the time? Like, what, would it, what was it costing you over there right, okay. in terms of what you'd flip it right, for what over What I'm doing here, yeah? The volume um, for tablets for a thousand nine pound nine pound Roche volume ten milligram uh, nine pound for a thousand. Wow, the street value here is a pound, um, but I was selling them in bulk for a hundred and fifty for a thousand, which is a good price, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to be greedy. Do you? When yeah, you the it nine two hundred and five oh one five oh is the, the markup. <laughs> It's better than any drug in the world. Of course it is, yeah. It's better than any drug in the world. Uh, but I did make the mistake of bringing it through Spain. That's where you Class went wrong. A. Bring it through England, container-wise, which is if anybody wants to do this job. <laughs> <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting plugged if in you and you know what to do. you want to do this job, okay? <laughs> container, Karachi, Taliban, Al-Qaeda, you have to work with them, but them boys are all right as long as you pay them. <laughs> <laughs> don't try and give them a bump here. Don't bump them. <laughs> nah, don't bump don't them. Bump wow. Them. No, don't bump them. Just pay for what you're buying and they will sit, and they said to me, we will secure your path out of here. But once you're off our course, There's nothing they can do. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. But we will, we will, you're ours now. We mm. will take care. We'll make sure. Boom, nothing happens here. But after that, it's up to you. How long was you doing it for before it went? Up. Right, how long do it for? I was doing okay, about a year and a bit. Year and a I bit. did a few trips every six weeks. I was banging it up. Yeah, sixty grand a trip I was making. Yeah, but back then in the nineties, that's like that's heavy dollar, you know. Of course in it 90s, is. Houses were going for you buy a house, yeah, 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 nothing. Twenty, mm. twenty grand then. Trying to buy a house in the nineties, yeah. Hell. So the but money yeah. I was making uh, was massive for the time. And I didn't let my mouth loose a little bit. Uh, okay, uh, that's okay. how um, the feds got on me, Interpol got on me. Uh, obviously, someone f speaks to them to mm. let them know, right, he's doing this, you know, and then they start tracking you. Somebody has to speak, and then oh, yeah, they course. track. They don't just track you. Uh, so that's what happened with that. But that was a good gig at the time. I bet uh, it was, yeah. Yes, it was. The steroids as well, I was bringing in. The markup on them wasn't that much. Um, I was paying about 25 pence for an ampule. Okay. Street value here was four pound. Ah, right. uh, yeah, but in both cases, I was for one and a half. So that's just three times what I'm making. Mm. But the pills was... The pills was the one. In the yeah. 90s as well, pills were massive. That's when it's like, around here, Hacienda was yes. bubbling where people took, people yeah. took then. Yeah. It was pills value before. People take them, yeah. ease and then value to come down on. Right, okay. um, Scotland, two pound a pill up there. Yeah, they're heavy on that one shit. Love they're it. The blues, yeah, they love the blues. That's what everyone took before they got into the cocaine yes, and stuff. Yeah, party yeah, days yeah, years ago. Yeah, because it was a cheap, it was a cheap gig. Cheap high. And it's like it's not what you could get a hold of quite yeah. easily. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just got my head into that. I went cocaine, heroin, no, 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 no. There's loads of people doing that. And, and that's a big, shooting, big shooting, charge. Shooting yeah, so there's a lot involved <laughs> in that, isn't I it? Why do something what no one is really involved in? Yeah, a bit off but the radar. But do it at a big scale, yeah. Mm. But do it at a big scale. Not small scale, big scale. Yeah, and it yeah. worked for yeah, a year. Yeah. Worked for a little while. So then when it got tipped, so someone opened a mouth, he was in, Yeah. you obviously was in prison over there, so uh. I imagine you got caught on that side of the tracks, not here. Yes, yes. I got caught in Spain as well, yeah. Yeah. But Pakistan, I was safe. They yeah. said there, you can buy anybody here. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, the police, the chief uh, of police, I knew him. He gave me his card. Any hassle you get, phone me. And we did get some hassle sometimes. Uh, yeah. When you're in a car, the MPs, military police will just stop randomly. Guns on your head. Yeah. Passports, get them out. And then you just got to pay him a fine. They'll just give you a little fine. But I pulled his card out and he phoned him and he went, let him go. Yeah. So I was getting, so, so I had a rep over there. 
You know? <laughs> I had a rep. I tried to call it the King of Karachi. Yeah. <laughs> no, I had a rep. Uh, which I was a bit sort of amazed at b- because I'm not even a m- Muslim, I'm Sikh. Okay. You know? Uh, but they took to me because I paid. Sorry, can we shut that window, please? <laughs> because I paid, you know? I paid my way and I did the work. How Sorry, it's, it's that one in the corner. Can I hear them outside? Sorry, mate. They're loading a container outside. Oh, right. <laughs> can you reach it? Yeah, go on. Sorry, bro. Yeah. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm not Muslim. Yeah, so I paid. Though, yeah. yeah, if you pay, if you work with these people, it doesn't matter who it is. The cartel in Mexico, these are the gangsters, this, that. But if you pay, yeah, if you and pay you're right. straight with them, mm. they don't bump you because this is an ongoing thing. Yeah, they want to make the money. Yeah, it's, why an would ongoing they thing. it's not just like a short term thing, which is a lot of people go wrong on. They like now they will look at a job and think, right, why don't we just do this? Hit them up, r- r- rip them off, the bam bam bounce finish. I mean, no. The big picture. The work for these people for a while, yeah, and make some money. Contact some links. Mm-hmm. Don't just think of the short picture going in there with guns. Bam, that's you done, taxed. No, bollocks. Mm. That's that, but that's the mentality now, isn't it? No, yeah, of course. It's, it's short term. It's not long term now, it's gone. No, yeah, short term, in and out. That's how most long people Long term are. is only with your boys, you know, the, the mm. ones that have links, the ones that can work together, um, connected. Now, the connections aren't that fucking long. No, because people always end up with the feds, don't they? Oh, they, yeah. always, they always end up with the feds as well. There's always somebody, talk, yeah. next man, talking to the feds. Yeah. You might talk to one person, but the other person will be talking to the... F- There's always somebody talking to the feds. You can only go one man down or mm. just work on your own. Yeah, you're better off on your own. Work on your own. Keep your mouth shut, like you say. Because every time I work with a firm, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. And it's always, in this day and age now as well, people want to showboat. You've got the internet, yeah. you've got social media. Yeah. Every, you see, you must see them all the uh-huh. time yourself when you're floating around and everyone wants to show the world what they're doing. Yes. Why I couldn't tell yes, you? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. <laughs> My girlfriend, she shows me videos, gangsters. Uh, well, not gangsters, really. Just people selling cocaine. They got money. Yeah. And they made a, a WhatsApp video of it, posting it about. I'm like, what? We don't. Do, we didn't do Stupid. things like that. You can't we even consider like calling that. them gangsters because we don't do things like that in the real world. It's, 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 it's yeah, daft, isn't it? Yeah, Show pictures bolting, of isn't guns, it? pictures of bullets. Fuck off. You How know? long you do you expect things to like last? Yeah, acting long. like that. Yeah, it's yeah, stupid. Yeah, you yeah. do see it a lot in this day and age. It isn't it? Why? But I think, yeah, when you see some of that, you know that person is false. I think that's like an instant record. Because anybody who's going to do something is not going to show you it. No, no, no. They ain't going to tell you. They will just do it. It's like a you sense of... You don't even get a warning. You won't even get yeah. a warning about it. You no, just get no, hit no, up. Yeah. yeah, you get hit up. They don't tell you prior, this mm. is going to happen to you. We're sending this round. This is going to boom. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. It's like, okay. No, of and course. Then, bang. Yeah. It's like a sense of they need approval. They need people to see, this is what I do. So these people can look at them like a certain way. Whereas yes. if you've really got something about you, you don't even need to say much. Your aura says it all. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. You must know certain people who step yep. in a room and it's just there's something about them yes. before they've even spoke. Well, yes, and that I can't be taught. People. You've well, either yeah. got it or you've not. Yeah. No matter yeah. how many gangster films you watch and how yeah. many gangster friends you've got, if you've not got it, mate, I'm sorry. Instagram's not going to get it for you either. You'll just go to jail. Do you know what I mean? You're right, yeah. Mm. But yeah, man, it's mad. It's yeah. mad. But then people you normally see when they are in like company of others, they just crumble or keep their mouth shut, yeah? Because mm. they know I'm aware of my depth, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I know what I've been sticking up, yeah? These people don't do things like that. <laughs> you stand out like a sore thumb, don't they? They do do things like that, yeah. Mm. And, and so they think, well, why is he? In it? Why is he here? Hmm. Because he puts up all these fucking thingy videos, and now he he's with me and this and that. They don't realise the top people won't want to work with you. No, no, you're well, telling yeah. the whole world yeah. everything. What the fuck are you doing? Every story you see now, if someone's been locked up for drugs or guns or something, nine times out of ten, it's because they've been acting a goal online. Yeah. They've, 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 they've led, yes. they've, you've led the police to exactly... Yeah, haven't they? It's so easy now, isn't it? Yeah, they're it's watching so for easy. ages as well. That's why you, the police like now have got it all, they, they've got it all linked up. Yeah. The grass is because they get these people up because they're weak. They're not like us, back in the day styles, keep your mouth shut, mm. do your jail, whatever, yeah? No, no, no. These are like, oh, no, I can't go to jail. 
Oh, it's him doing it. It's him doing it. It's only that video I made. You know, what I sn- what I make, I sniff anyway. It's just to pay my hobby. Fucking hell. That's what it is. R- yeah, in real. Mm. They don't make any money. There's only about 5% of drug dealers that make money. Mm. The other 90% just pay their own habit or they end up in debt. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of people yeah. do end up in debt. There's only 5% that, that result, yeah. actually make dollar, dollar. Mm. And then on the high level. Like that, over yeah. the years that have been, you know, they were, they were good at what they did and then they just, they get curious. Yeah. And then it goes wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. I remember you said um, you, you watched the other podcast, uh-huh. Reality Check with Mikey. Yeah. So is he's based around sort of, you know, cocaine and stuff habits yeah so he was he was bad on cocaine if you watch through him and that's what his podcast is about getting people on with experience it's where it might be someone that used to sell it might be someone that started as you know just partying and they've got it's highly addictive like you say the drugs and whatnot yeah and it's a good podcast um but yeah man what i did want to ask you about is this book because we're okay. just i told you we'd end up doing this okay. we'll end up just chatting cool laughing our heads yes, off i do it on every podcast go on. and go off topic this book, tell us what's it about. Okay. This is from Self Made Use Paid, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my sort of life story until 2003. Okay. Yeah, it is 120,000 words. I was told to make it 80,000 words for a novel, but I went over. I wanted to write more to extend it, but they said, no, then it's going to be like big. Yeah, yeah. Too big. To get people to engage. Yeah. So you have to do a, like another book. Ah, follow up. After that, yeah. So that one goes up to 2003, okay. uh, when I came out of Spain in jail. So it's from, from me being three years old, my first m- m- memories I had uh, of I was being a kid, Hitchin, Hertfordshire, brought up a stutter I had, I couldn't talk, I couldn't speak English until I was five. Uh, Second hand clothing, we just had a rough ride, you know. My parents were sort of uh, asked to come here by the government to work. They didn't know any English neither. They had to work in, they had to live in in my uncle's house. Their wages had to go to him and then pocket money he would give to my mum and dad. Okay. Five a week. Five a week. That's how it worked back in the day, yeah. And um, that's how it happened, until they saved enough money to buy a house. And then we got our own house, and then we moved on from Hitchin. There was expensive. Okay. Half a chair. So we moved up to West Yorkshire. Huddersfield, that's where I went to schooling. Uh, went to school there. That was all a bit of a mixed bag. It was all a bit fucking shit on my part. So what year was that? This is, uh, what year is this? This will be uh, 68. Moved into Huddersfield at 70, 1972. 1972. 72. The 70s I did there. Uh, schooling, we left there, 84, to Newcastle. That's where we got the shop. Uh, we got a shop up there because um, shops up north were cheap. Uh, okay. Competition less. They were all owned by white guys in the north and the shops there they were laxy daisy they used to close early sunday not close at all wednesday half day closing and then we used to sell alcohol so the asian invasion came up there <laughs> and put the shops <laughs> on the map yeah and we smashed it how did that did, we, 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 we had to work 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 can i say how did that work, work, work feel work. going up well there? it was horrible because I've, I've, I've heard you say on another podcast quite yeah, racist well, yeah days, that was it? horrible back then because i was the only brown face in the whole area so Some people have never even seen an Asian kid before. Wow. Never seen a brown face, no, or black, nothing. It's all white. Uh, and then they used to take the piss. Oh, it was horrible, you know? I look back on it, I mean, fuck that shit. If the, that what happened now, you know? Uh, but back no, then, yeah. it was all acceptable. Mm. It was all acceptable. Um, in 1969, uh, for Birmingham, what was the area? Smethwick, the Tory MP, their line was, if you want a nigger for a neighbour, mm. vote Labour. I've seen a line. That's, that's, Me and my missus th- was th- talking about off camera. And, and, and I was alive then. Mm. And that ain't that long ago, you know. 
That ain't that long ago. Yeah. When all that was going down. It's not, it's not that long ago at all. It ain't that long ago at all. I was there. You see these sort of things. Yeah. You see, it wouldn't happen now, but it's still it's still very much there, but it's just not as in 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 the spotlight anymore. No. A lot of it's these there, people still there, feel the same way they ever did. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But now you can't really go into a shop. Back then, they could come to my shop, call me a patty, your black cunt, your fucker, spit on the floor, have a fag, stick it out, oh, throw it at me. All legal, all legal, all that. You can't even call the you can't even call the feds on that one. No. No. You can't even call them police on that one. These were racist as well. Yeah. So that was the way it was. Yeah, the police never helped us. Nobody helped us. So it was just me taking shit, shit, shit. And that's where I fucking turned. Is that where I just turned? I need yeah. to make some that's money. I started making start fucking nuts. money. So I got a clothes shop. This, that, that didn't really work out good. Uh, gangster element too much back in the nineties. The E's, the G's were coming in. Bam, bam, bam. It was all. Clubs, this, that, uh, dollar, ecstasy. Mm. I just got washed away in that fucking rubbish as well. Um, but it was okay at the time. I didn't make any money at that time. I didn't make no, no money at that time. It was just like rolling, what I would make, I would, it would just go, go, go. I wouldn't make no fucking money. I only started making money when I started to sell drugs. Um, until then, it's just like what you earn, you fucking spend it. What you earn, you spend it, spend it, spend it. Mm. And that's not really what I want to do. I want to go to the top level. No, I want yeah, dollar, so yeah. That's what everyone wants want to do, isn't it? Yeah, I want dollar. So that's what that books basically. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yes, that I went to the extremes, but I did go to extremes. Pakistan, I saw the uh, cheapest place to buy these drugs at. Uh, Karachi, Pakistan, at a time nobody wants to go there. No, and work with them, no, because they're scared to. Mm. Uh, but just have some balls and they're okay, you know. <laughs> Everyone's all right, right but you're talking fuck. money. Do you know their steel, plastic and everything? Mm. It's cheaper than anywhere else in the world, really? you know? Yeah, oh yeah. India, three times less in Pakistan. And India, next door, three times as much. Crazy. Yeah, yes, I know. So I, Indians go, no, yeah, but you can't go to Pakistan. I mean, yes, you can. Mm. Yes, you can. You can. Why don't you trade with them? Like you say, if you're talking money, Why don't people, you trade everyone's with them? all right. Yeah, trade with them. Mm. But nobody wants to trade with Pakistan. It's just got a thing about it. Is it still like that now in terms of things being a lot cheaper? Or was that was just then? Uh, now, now, what it's like there now, it's still quite rough there now. Yeah. The Taliban, Al Qaeda, they do have things in control, uh, but the police are run by them, Al Qaeda. The police force is not the police force of Pakistan, no. it's Al Qaeda. Okay. Yeah. They have the main rule. Crazy. They tell the police what to yeah, do. Yeah, dangerous, <laughs> dangerous, yeah, dangerous. Yeah, I know. Place to be. I know it's bad, isn't it? It's like yeah. the government here. If we had like another government on top of that, gangsters who will kill you, this is how you do it. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. To to live in that world. Crazy that. But it's a perfect world to go, to buy, mm. to work with. No, yeah, definitely. Perfect. So with that there, yeah. that, so that's pre two thousand and three. This book. Yes. Because you know what I'll do if I don't say it now? Do it and every, someone will come and sort of talk about a product and we won't tell no one where they can find it. Right, I'm okay, not tell right, them okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you my links. Yeah. Uh, we'll put them in the bottom in the description. Website I've got. Yeah. If you want a sign book, yeah. that I can do. Or it's available on Amazon. Okay. Uh, Amazon or my site. Yeah. If you want a personalised book, I'll sign it for you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And everything, yeah. You're in that, guys. That's where you can get it. Yeah. Cause yeah, man, I'm a bit of a. I'm a, well. I'm gonna. I have a lot of books. My uh, missus have a lot of books. Right. I never really have time to sit down and read them. Yes. But I keep make, trying to say I make a conscious effort to start reading it's more. It's jail, isn't it? What makes you read books? I've read loads of books in jail. I love books in jail. The first book I ever I read, wrote, yeah. read. I don't know if you've read it. It's Stanley Tucky Williams' Redemption. So he's the co-founder of the Crips. Right. And it was so mad when you read that book. The reason he made Crips. Crips wasn't meant to be gang banging you know, blue rags, yeah. you know, what it is today. Yeah. It, w it it stands for something, it, it had the dots in between it, Crip, and it was a city summit, summit project, whatever, and he hated neighborhood gangs, because yeah. he was a decent kid. So he, him and his mates got together and said, you know what, we'll make our own little gang, mm. so it'll be like an anti-gang gang. And he went around smashing up all the neighborhood gangs because they were nuisance, yeah. and then he went to jail for something he claims he didn't do. And then years down the line, when you're reading his books, he said, I've now, I form the, one of the biggest gangs in the world and it's unstoppable. So that Crip was never meant to be that. Yeah. Crazy that, isn't it? Yeah. It's a really good book. Yes. And then Arnold Schwartz got him um, executed when he became the mayor. 
it, it, ah, it was the mayor, wasn't it? The mayor of uh, L.A., wasn't he, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah somewhere, somewhere like that. Yeah, mayor of somewhere. Yeah, yeah they're he all was, corrupt the fuck on him. Of course they are. Yeah. But yeah, he kept trying to get, a, is it called a stay, when you get sort of more to, uh -huh. to sort of, you know, when you're on death row, you, you call it a stay or something, don't you? so you don't actually get executed. Looking into it, did he actually yes. do it, appealing it? And yeah, man, eventually, he wrote kids' books and everything. He got awards from jail, this guy, for yeah. writing kids' books, you know, about not being in gangs and stuff. Yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's a good read. You should read it, man. He made a film off the back of it. When you watch the film, you think, no, this okay. is only a section of the book. It's not the full thing. Right, okay. But yeah. Okay. Good book, All man. right, cool. Arnold Schwartz. In Spain, I was there, yeah? Okay. Um, the British consulate is supposed to help me out. I'm okay. a British guy. Bam, bam, bam. The mules were in other fucking wings, right? Mm. The consulate seen to them every day. Uh, what do you need brought him in things? Me, zero. Came to see me one time. Because he knew I was a bad guy, yeah? yeah. Uh, he hated me. He hated me. Uh, I said, listen, help me out, bro. Yeah, I need legal assistance. I need this, I need that. Yeah. Didn't come and see me. I said, I need to speak Spanish as well. Spanish school. school. Get me there. He went, because you're... Cate, it takes four screws to take you to school. Uh, four screws have to stand next to you when you're at school. They did it once. Spanish, I said, I want to learn, yeah? Mm. The rest of them can just go. <coughs> Me, four screws, and they couldn't be asked. They just go, no, no, no. So I only went once, Spanish school. <laughs> so Spanish, I had to learn on the wing. <laughs> okay. So my Spanish is like, Street Spanish, it's like dirty. Um, oh, you rude. picked up all the lingo. Yeah, yeah, the shit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Cornio, TV and all that. <laughs> Just talking like a motherfucker, yeah. Okay. So if I go anywhere in Spain and I speak like I speak my Spanish, it's rough as fuck. Okay, they're it's onto horrible. your shit. Yeah, where yeah, where are you rough. from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what part of Spain are you from? It's rough because my words are jail words. Mad. Yeah, so, but that was my, uh, anyway, the books in there, at first time I write books, have you got a library? They went, yeah, we got a library. I went, okay. When the, the English fucking section was about that big, <laughs> the books, yeah, cut in the hat. Ah uh, <laughs> no, kids yes, books. these other ones, <laughs> basic kids books. I read kids books in jail. Yeah, this is how crazy. amazing. This is how bored your life can get. Yeah, <laughs> when you read kids books in jail, yeah. just to like read, just to get your yeah, mind. Yeah, you need your mind. Wow, and I read, I read nearly every book there. They're all shite. <laughs> I wish I had like book books, yeah. Because yeah. when I came to England jails, there you got book yeah, books. Yeah, they got all yeah, yeah, books, yeah. haven't they? But the Spanish one was terrible. Crazy. Disgusting. It was all Spanish, apart from a section of English, and they were just fucking kids' books. What was this what was yeah like over there because what was different that? country, prison yes. over there, like what was a it third like? Third of them got AIDS, haven't they? Really? Spanish jails, a third of them are AIDS up. Mm. Sentencing is all consecutive, okay. concurrent, it doesn't work like that. So if you do ten Burglaries yeah. here, it's concurrent, yeah? yeah? If you get two year, one year, boom, boom, you're the end of the two year, yeah? There, they add them all up, bro. Oh. So you could do 20 odd year for burglary. You get me? So that's like a life sentence. So don't run them concurrent like no, here, that's consec, crazy. Consec, consec, like consec, mine. yeah, that's consec, one after the other, innit? Consec, innit? Like there's a murderer, Carlo, mate, mate of mine, me and him were close. His story, oh, cut a long story short, he was at a party with his girlfriend, his girlfriend was a nice looking girl. The host took a liking to her. He didn't like it. At the end of the night, he uh, told Carlo to leave, but not her. So he went, don't tell me to leave and not my fucking girlfriend at the same time, yeah? So he got a bottle of vodka, hit him over the fucking head, killed him. No way. Easy, right? Okay, and he's a straight kid, this mm. kid, yeah? So him and his girlfriend said, right, what now? The body, wrap it up, put it in the boot of the car, they took the fucking hills. Like the films, there were too many fucking films. <laughs> and they burnt the body, but the body does no not way. burn. It, it doesn't burn that easily, you know? You need a proper firefighter to yeah. burn a body. Not just like stick it on there with a mat on it. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's, that's it? not how you burn the body. And it was still there, and he got nicked. But to save her ass, <laughs> he, he, but he took it all, all, all on his toes. So what he got, he got a uh, 24 year for murder. And ten year for burning the body. Separate. Separate. Thirty four years. After yeah. the body. They're yes, already yes. dead. This, this is what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. Nah. He went, no. Cause I did something after the event. After I killed him, I burnt him. That's another ten year. That's like assaulting him once he's dead and getting in trouble for they? it. Catholic, can't they? Wow. Bro. 
Harsh. Fuming, but he was wounded. <laughs> <laughs> he should have left him dead. He would have got ten year less. Fucking hell. If he just left him in the mountains, yeah. ten year less. But the fact that he burnt it, ten year on top. Yeah, that's crazy. Mate, it's crazy, bro. Bro, um, jails, criminality, s- sentencing. It's all fucked up, isn't it? Come on. None of it really makes any sense. No, Some it of it yeah. does. But yeah, a lot of it, it not. Can get a lot of it. A not. bad one was when they introduced IPP. They stole people now. I know a kid. He done a street robbery. Yeah. When we was in high school. I'm 33. Yeah. And he's still there now. Because he's a bit wiry. He looks after himself. Yeah. He's only a really skinny kid. So yeah. he, and he's really quiet. He's, he's an easy target. Uh-huh. But then he's not when he bites. Because he can be violent. Yes. So he can defend himself. But if, if you're an idiot in jail, you're going to think this guy. He's got a very short fuse. He's uh-huh. been in the MEN and stuff. His mum saying he's... My boy's done like 15 years for, for, for yeah. nicking some kid's bike in the park. Yeah. Naughty. Don't let him out. Say he's dangerous to public. He's not a danger. What do you do? It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's wrong. Um, I want to talk about the show that I'm going to be on. Yeah? But I can't say a lot about it. Channel say what 4, you can. Uh, say what you I can. say what I can. Channel 4... It's going to be on. I uh, can't say who's in it or what it's about. <laughs> it's reality just, it's show. <laughs> it's a r- reality show. Yeah. But, um, criminals involved. Okay. The first of uh, a kind of that's been made. The criminals are there in jail, locked up with uh, normal people. And the normal people get interviewed after the event. To uh, And this is all to like try and change jails, you know, try and like... Um, because the thing is this, yeah, and you know yourself, if you have a, we are, our mind's crime, right? Okay, we are crims. There are certain people uh, who go to jail for like roadkill, mm. um, push, this and that, offense. Yeah, they're not a, criminals. A crime just of passion. Up a crime of passion. Mm. They just fuck up. Like Carlo hitting the geezer over the ball. Yeah, they're head. not bred. He's not a criminal. No, yeah, no, they're not he bred that in, way. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah, no. Not but, but, them. We are, you know, mm. we are, yeah? And we can handle that. Okay, we're going to go to jail, we go to jail. But these people not. So it's, bring, it's to bring to light that you throw someone like that in into company of us lot and how it affects them. Yeah, it's, uh, it's It can either take you down or it can make or, you stronger, can't it? Yeah. Them, yeah. But you have to, like, get above them. You have to take their shit. And this is what I told, this is what all the things was about, the show... Um, explain to people how to handle yourself, how to conduct yourself, how to talk, how to speak to people. Um, what happens if, like, somebody sticks it on you? Mm. What you need to do? Don't don't walk away. Don't put your head down. Take a licking. Take your beating. Because you only take it once. You only take it once. If you fight back, at the same time, next man will think, well, he fights back. Mm. Okay, he got fucked up, but he does fight back. There's a lot of respect in that. Yes. It? He does fight back. I can't be asked with a few scratches on my face, so I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> I'd rather want one that doesn't scratch me, yeah? All you got to do is just do something about them. Yeah. And they go, no, nah, yeah, I, like 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 I don't like that one. Mm-hmm. They want someone with a soft target. Soft mm-hmm. target, soft target, soft target. You're a bully, that's that your yes. target. You don't want and this is what this yeah. experience is all about, um, the, what we've done here. Mm. Um, it's bringing light to that, how to handle it, uh, to make changes in it. Because it needs... It needs changing. It has changed here. Spain's a piece of shit. Hmm. America's a piece of shit. Do you know when you look at there? America's do you, do, do you know when you look at there? How do they do that system? Hmm. They just put you away for life, man. Yeah. Even on fucking shitty little charges. Stupid stuff, though. Dri- even driving whilst, um, I don't know, second time caught. Isn't it like three, yeah, three, two or three strikes? It's three strikes in it and you're out in America. Three it's strikes the same, in similar yeah. crime three times. Yes. Well, that could be a silly crime yes. and then you'd still get yeah. like, life off. Yeah. They give like 300 years and stuff. It's, it's fucking crazy, isn't it? Give you a matter of years, you'll never see the end of. So with this show, yeah. with this show, yeah. obviously you said you can't touch yeah. on it that much, which is fine. But we are going to release it afterwards. Okay. So like... When is it out? Like what channel? November time. Be on? Um, channel four. Channel four. It's gonna be a big one. Um, the production team, I can't say, but um, I'm willing to work with you after this as well. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. With the other ex cons that were on it, there's uh, 26 of us, mm. and they all want to work. 
No, that's telling you the truth. They all, yeah. they, they all, because they I think, from, from what you just yeah. said, people are naturally now, the, when they see this, they're going to be like, what is that show? I'm gonna, they're going to want to watch it. Yeah. If you're yeah. into this sort of podcast, this episode, yes. that's going to entice you. In, some of, Even normal street. people are going to watch this. No, yeah. The criminals are going to watch this. The lads inside are going to want to mm. watch this. Mm. The MPs are going to want to watch this. The journalists are going to watch this. Uh, this is, you know, this is a really big thing. And they did it really, really good. They spent a lot of money on it. Five to six million at least. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, jails they had there. Bam. Lockdown. We were on. 23 hour. 10 days. How long? How long did you there? Oh, you just said nine 10 days. days. Yeah. Nine well, days. Like 10. But and it was like proper prison. Yes. Literally. Bang yes. up. Weekends. Yes. You're going away at four or five o'clock. Bang up. No, no, bang up. Bang up. Bang up. Oh, bang constantly. Up day, so it's yeah. like being down a block. No, bang up, but you get out, uh, jail times, right? Okay, it was like, it did change, yeah? There are times of the morning, they were either like, this is unlockers, eight o'clock, half seven. And then, bam, but out, given, some, given a couple of jobs, breakfast, and then banged up again. And then let out again until 12, and then banged up again until about four, but out until seven, and then banged up again. Mm. So jail, you know, like jail, it's like jail to give everybody an experience of what it is actually like, and to give these other people that were in there, normal people, what it's like to live with these people. And some of them found it hard, hard oh, work. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, but we found it hard work as well, going back to jail. Yeah, because it, it, what you're doing there. They said, get your heads back in that mode. And you don't want to have to do that. And mine was though, mm. because I kept myself really clean. You don't want really to keep yourself really, really clean. Yeah. And it's all nice and tidy. And you don't let anybody coming in. And yeah. <laughs> that's all Sitting on your bed after you took your hand that's out. A, that's that's, that's, all, that's so that. tight. <laughs> that's all my cell was like. Other cell that seems like scruffy as fuck. Oh, guys, you get oh, a oh. proper OCD. I that think that's, that's where me. it starts that's with a lot me. of people. I'm like that now. My gels all needed to be lined up. Yeah. Everything yeah. was immaculate. Yes. Like it was, yes. it's, you sat doing your own editing, yes. don't you? Like, that's yes. one of your things you enjoy though, if you're in there, cleaning you yourself. You don't have a lot, do you? You don't oh, have yeah. a lot. You don't have a lot. Focus on yourself. Yeah. On yourself, your body, you, yeah, yourself. Yeah, that's what you do, don't you? That's you end you up do. becoming quite fit and healthy yeah. and you're That's how you can tell a good that. inmate who's working, Jill's working for you, yeah. and the one that's not. A scruffy pad. <laughs> yeah. A scruffy it pad is not bad, a good sign. It's not a good sign. Because that's when they go down. Yeah. That's when they smell. Yeah, they don't change the socks, windows don't don't open, and oh, yeah, it's not it. So, guys, I actually got offered to go on this show as well, the one he's talking about, but I okay. turned it down for work issues, and he just told me now off camera that okay. literally remember when we spoke yes. about it. So, yeah, when I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy that you went on it because it's given me more of an insight of what they was offering. But like I said, for me, I was working at the time, bro, and I work all over the country, and I couldn't say to work, oh, I'm going to be... Yeah. Going missing for 11 days. Yeah. I'm in charge yeah. of, of a lot on site, so it just yeah. wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Channel but 4, yeah. funny, yeah? They do say, do not mention this show, but everyone I spoke to already knows, knows about, about it. Because <laughs> email, I got an email. Everybody they knows must about have sent it. it to so many people. They say, don't speak about it, but everybody knows about it anyway. I do, I've been offered to go on, uh, what's that other one? Where the, the thing comes up, it stops here. Uh, there's naked people in these cubicles. Oh! <laughs> I got offered to go on that. Sharp! What is it? What with you <laughs> naked attraction. That's it, naked I'm attraction. Not going on that girl. I said no. Um, Why did they ask you to, to, to go on there? They just said, um, "Are you single? Would you like to come on the show?" Yeah, guys, they asked me. It's a mad one, isn't it? I think it, it's easy now. Everyone's on social did media. You say no. about. I said no. Yeah. I won't go. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't go. <laughs> Don't do that. I see some people. I think you're nuts. That. Forget that. Did they? Can I say? Go on. Did they come to you? Yeah. To ask you, yeah. So, so they came to me as well. Oh, right. in person. Okay, message. Oh yeah. So I think the email, no, they Instagram, Instagram, Instagram first. They liked well. some woman liked a few of my posts. Oh, so that's what they did. So they Instagram you, Instagram yeah. me, Instagram loads of others. They would have, and then they would. Do you know what they did at the end as well? What knocked a lot of people off because there was loads of people that were supposed to be on it. Yeah. Supposed to be on it. Me and Olivia spoken about this. Um, they were on it and gangsters who I know. But then they went, your domestic stuff has to be clean. Because uh, we can't have you on if you've like done anything domestic-wise against a woman. Because uh, they'll say, well, why are you putting him Yeah, on they'll take to the internet. And and he's a wife beater. <laughs> they rip you apart. Yeah, they So they're. all these people that's got the yes on it, 
got knocked back because there's a domestic incident on there. Wow. Fucking, yeah. Crazy. And I knocked them all back. That weren't me. I said no. <laughs> that weren't me. Do you know the amount of checks that, that got done? Psychiatrists are still in my case now. Psychiatrists now still get calls. Are you okay? Because they're trying to take care of the product before it airs. Yeah. And you've got to remember as well, yeah. a jail for some people is a walk in the park. But even yeah. still, these long term effects you will have, even if it was easy. Yeah. Some people, it's a flipping nightmare, isn't it? Like, they, they have they a really rough it, time. They it, yeah. And they don't want to, like, going back there, like, you're putting them back in a place they've escaped. They don't want to go there. So it can, it can give people, like, you know, it's not, it's not like nice. Can I say as well, <laughs> I did feel good back there. Yeah. Because that's like, do you know what it is, yeah? No phone. No one hassling me. Ah, I don't yeah. need to do anything. In this day and age. It's like a anywhere. detox in a way, isn't it? Bro, it was. From, from no the... weed, no drink. I was at my best there, just yeah. training. No, I was. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, it was really good for me, that, that experience, that yeah? And I told them afterwards, I said, this is excellent. It's like uh, what I needed to give me that back again. Oh, no, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Do you know when you just go down the road, yeah, okay, you have a joint, you have a drink, you have a joint, you have a drink, blah. Right, that was like, boom, okay. This is what it's fucking like again, yeah. Mm. This is what I was like, what I was like, and this is where I'm at my best. Because this is where, where I operate at my best. Mm. Where I'm straight, I'm sober, I know what I'm fucking oh, doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Like so everyone. that was like a thing to me, and then that was good. And I did that fucking experience, and I came out on top. Mm. On camera or not, yeah, I will admit, I came out on top of that one, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking everybody. Uh, 26 of them, yeah. and I got the top exposure on that yeah uh, yeah 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 uh, because of who, who i was with how i dealt with what i was put in front of me tasks yeah. you're given did you go in there like i'm using this to like my advantage let's go big brother thing yeah? yeah yeah they give you tasks to do do this do that and they tell you intimidate so and so intimidate so and so do this do that uh some of it you say, oh fucking hell really i'm gonna go on then like uh, one kid I had to put on the sex thing with, yeah? And I went, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you who it is, but I said to him, uh, have you ever had your shit pushed up the ass? <laughs> <laughs> Shut and up. This is when we're eating food here in front of a table. Yeah. I was told to intimidate him. Yeah, yeah. So that was the method of intimidation, yeah? Okay. He had sort of long hair and I, and I went around the back of him and he's got his whispers Play with his hair. Behind his ears. <laughs> <laughs> They said to stick it and did he not know like this is no 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 well, 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 they, they do know but, but you can scared. still feel no, no. yeah you still at feel uncomfortable day, of course you would we're not actors they know we're yeah. not actors we're, we're real ones so he's thinking did he we're actually real. do this in his day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean has he, has he been here before <laughs> naturally you're gonna feel uncomfortable <laughs> on camera or not you're not comfortable with another man yeah. saying that i'm playing with your hair like, <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> no one likes that bro <laughs> Yeah, cool, but I was told to stick it on him. Yeah, yeah, of course. You get told to stick it on him. I went, okay, okay, laugh, okay. Did you laugh about it after the show? And well, that? Afterwards, yeah. I hope the other people take it for what it is. Yeah, it's a reality show, but we were told what to do. Yeah, sort yeah. Of thing, yeah. Uh, we were real in it. Real emotions were there. Mm. Kicked off properly. One day we were locked up for twenty-three fucking hours. Really? I think they did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Everyone. They did to rile us up. Sugar, I had no sugar, coffee, I, didn't, I was banging on the door. Just to fucking, then they just film you walking up and down, walking up and down, walking up and down the cell. Pasting the cell. Yeah, so this is all filmage, isn't it? It all makes good camera. And, and so were the ex, and so were all the other cons. We were all banging on the door. <laughs> Going, you're taking a fucking piss. We were kicking the fucking doors. Yeah. Because we're not really in jail. Yeah, yeah. We're not really in jail. Yeah, I want my fucking sugar and coffee. We're not really yeah. in jail. Could you get out if you wanted to? No. Could you not say like, no. you know, like no, if you... Locked. Yes, you could. No, like, if you really wanted to go home, say, listen, this is the really show I need to go, to go home. home. Yes. Some mm. did. One did. One of them did. Right. Yeah, the kids can't home. handle it because uh, we fucked him up. But I'm going to say, like, a lot on it. Uh, I don't want to spoil yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But we'll watch it, yeah? Yeah, we'll you watch it, we'll watch it. I want it, I want it yeah, to be a bit of a surprise. Yeah, One guy got fucked up big time. You know <laughs> that, dude. I mentioned no name. He thought he was a kingpin. <laughs> it was quite funny how it worked out, yeah? Very funny it worked out because um channel four are bastards, right? All these people, yeah, they will use you. Of course they will. They will use you to how they want and what they want. And they'll just chop to that make footage entertainment. Up. Yeah, just to make entertainment, mm. yeah. 
So they tell somebody, do this, do that, do that. We're bigging you up, bigging you up, bigging you up. And then they bring you flashing back down again as well. Do you know? Uh, reality yeah. TV, <laughs> innit? It's all fictional. People need to know that, though, when they watch reality yes, TV. Like, yes. it's not what it seems. No, 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 no. You get told to do and what to do, and they can portray you in any manner they wish. Exactly. Can't so they? this is why we're seeing... Even if you're a good guy, they can make you look like a bad guy. Exactly. Just pick out all the bad points in the day. So when I was seeing you about that gun number six when I was on that and I was all excited to do it, yeah, this is going to be good and then they, they give me a piece of paper and reading it and seeing like, basically, your mic's constantly recording even when you're off camera. Yeah, that's right. So, I've, and I'm really, it basically said in a nutshell that they can use anything they want, yeah, even in other, other shows and that later on down the line and I'm thinking, I've seen things where people look at twat on these shows and mm. I was thinking they could, they could chop, chop it. You could be having a conversation now, mm. me and you, they'll take yeah. a bit of that and add it to a bit yeah, of that. And yeah. I'll be saying something you didn't say. That's what they say. So That's you have to be mindful. This is what I said, yeah, because then they introduced us afterwards, they gave us, um, like you do in jail, you get people that come on mind tests, uh, drug awareness, keep your mentality right, anger management, blah, blah, blah. Uh, told us about any issues, how we felt before we came on the show. Anxiety, I said. Anxiety I did have before I came on thinking about how you're going to make me look here. Because mm. I put myself out here, yeah? And for all to fucking see, and you can do what you want with this. Um, you can make me look like a motherfucker, or you can make me look good if you want, yeah? That's yeah, up yeah. to you. Mm. Um, so I did have anxiety about this, so I said, but how it's gone, and what I've seen, I think I'm a, you know, I think I'm a, I think you've done all right. Yeah, I think yeah. I did well on that one. Mm. And I did it, and I pulled it off. Others not, because I know what they made them look like with the tasks and what happened in the end and how it come down in the end. It's all like a story this year. It's so good. I can't wait for the air. We're going to have to do another one after this. Yeah? I was going to say... And work with the other yeah. lads on this as well. Yeah. Um, get this rolling because I think this will be a thing that's going to roll. Mm. It's got two to three months life in it. Yeah. You know, while our show is out, kill it off. Yeah, we'll do that then. Kill we'll put off. this on, like you say, after the show's aired so ben, people can see done. this and look for it. And um, <laughs> no drink. we're going to wrap it up now anyway, bro, because oh, you need to go on. off. Um, I don't like to yap on too much, too long, because I like yes. to get you on for a part two go and on. keep it engaging. Because, again, do you see this camera? Yeah. In a minute, I can see the, the operator staring us. Because <laughs> he's only got the a couple of minutes manager, left. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, part two, uh, we definitely do that, bro. Yeah, we'll, we'll chat up yeah. Cam in a minute. Okay. It's been a pleasure having you, brother. Love you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, man. Much love. I've been wanting to get you on for a minute. So, yeah, guys. Peace. We'll see okay, you guys. next time. Thank you, man. Cheers, guys.